Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to customize this Christmas card. I'm going to use her hat as my inspiration and I'm also going to change the color of the flowers. I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to see how I do with it. First of all, let's go ahead and look at this. Since I was just showing you in the last video how to do different things, I'm going to actually make this... I'm turning that off because I really don't like that glow or the shadow, but like I said, in some cases it really does work. One of the things I don't like about it is I don't like it on her finger right here. So if I could, if I wanted to keep it, I could just take it off of that and maybe just leave it on their hats. I might like an inner shadow, not here, but right here. So I'm going to switch that. And this is kind of covered in the last video. Maybe turn my flow down and make just a slight, slightly darker there. I could turn on the glow and that would probably sell it a little bit more, but for now I'm just going to leave that off. Okay, let's just see if we can make these flowers match her hat. I have this hue saturation layer here. I'm going to bring it up here. Okay, so I have the flowers. They're red right now and I want them to be yellow, so I'm going to come to reds. It's going to take all the reds in my photo and change the color of them going to move it until I find a color that I like. As you can see, we can make the colors, the flowers, any color we want, and it's not even affecting the, the stems because they're green, and it's only affecting the things that are yellow, I mean that are red. So I'm going to see if I can match her hat, which I kind of like that. I think that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and close this. So I have that matching. I can come up and the way this template is set up, let me get my layers up. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this bottom layer. Now I have these red flowers left that are kind of blurred. So I have to do something about that. But I also wanted to show you that you can turn these off and you can just have your card like this and you can also turn off the snowflake. So you can do it however you want but I wanted to show you how to do that. So as far as these red flowers, now that I have my color here, all I have to do is go to each of these and add that hue layer to it. So I'm going to duplicate it and bring it up to whichever ones are on. And then I have to select create clipping mask. Otherwise they look jaundice. And right here, create clipping mask. And create clipping mask. So these are yellow too now. And I could do the same thing with the sunset if I wanted the sunset to be a little bit more yellow. I don't know if I'd want it to be the exact same. I could try that. But I could come to my yellows, to my reds again. Oh, it's off screen here. Okay, so I could come to my reds again and I could just see what color I want it to be. Maybe I want it to be like that. That's kind of pretty. I can change the colors of, of these rectangles if I want to leave them in there to any color I want. And this is what how I my process when of creating. I play around a lot until I just get things the way I want. Maybe I'd sample a color in this field and see if I liked it. I just spend a lot of time playing around with these until I like them. So but I'm not going to bore you with that right now. I mean, honestly, I, I, I really like it with at least one of these turned off because it shows such a nice build. Or I like it with both of them turned off for this situation. When you come to change the words, you'll just select your type tool. And you can say, easy to change. You can do the same with this text. If you decided you wanted it to be bigger, you can do this. I'm pressing my shift key so that this so that the ratio doesn't change. It's pretty easy to change those. You can turn off the snowflakes, like I said, if you want. You could even change the color of them if you wanted to do a color overlay and turn them a different color. Blue. But in this case, it doesn't really match. So I'm going to cancel that. Another thing this template comes with is snow. So I have all this snow here. If you want to use it, I went ahead and added a mask because I don't like it when people have snow on their face. So I would mask that off for my photos. For each layer, I would mask the snow off of the faces. 
and so I'm just grabbing a brush I have black on actually I have it at 50% from earlier I just brush this off off of their faces actually it doesn't have to be off their hats just their faces so so you can just brush that off especially off of their eyes you, you don't want it on their eyes another thing I wanted to show you is that you can turn off the snow on the mountains there's three layers of snow mountain snow so depending on if you want snow at all if you just want a little bit anyway you can turn it all off just have it night be a nice warm feel to it so I showed you how the snow works you can also grab your move tool here and you can move these snowflakes around wherever you want them you can even duplicate them by dragging this here then you can have more snowflakes and you can resize them like if you don't like the size I'm pressing shift and resizing you can have a little one just be aware also if these clipping masks if you're if it starts to look funny it could be because one of these clipping masks come came undone that's gonna make your photo look really odd so if it really starts to look odd like that you may need to go back to your original and figure out what's clipped or you know that one of your hue saturations just needs to be clipped back on so I think I covered most of what I wanted to show you in this video and I hope you enjoy this layered backdrop mm -hmm.